Racism makes no sense from the standpoint of DNA science, and here's why. If you're a European supremacist, the first major population of Europe was darker than modern Europeans and looked like this, and then majority of your ancestry came from farmers from Middle East in modern Turkey, and your language and identity came from nomads from Eastern Europe and Asia, who had origins in Siberia and the Caucasus. If you're an African supremacist, you would be shocked to find that majority of modern Africans from north to south descend from a later paternal lineage of E, which mixed with, displaced, and reduced the Africans from the two most ancient paternal lineages of A and B, and that although there wasn't any admixture with Neanderthals like the Eurasians had, there was an admixture with another archaic hominid group currently known as a ghost population. If you're an East Asian supremacist, you would be foolish to look down upon other East Asians as most East Asians share lots of similarity through Yellow River Farmer admixture. You would also be wrong to look down upon Southeast Asians because their phenotypes come from a population that is closer to the ancient East Asian than Yellow River Farmers are. Finally, if you're Hispanic, Arabic, Turkic, or Indian, it would make no sense at all for you, as these populations are defined by mixing of many different elements. So you would essentially be picking one part of your ancestors over another part of your ancestors. If you'd like to learn from what ancestral populations you descend, click the link in the bio and purchase the report suitable for you.